Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are here on the free to play, the road to Hydra. Got our coffee here in hand and we're grinding. It's day 86, the fusion's upcoming. Everybody's talking about the Razzie, the rabbit, the crazy fusion champion. Um, we'll probably chat about that a little bit here. Uh, but for me right now on this account, one of the places i am been stuck is on Doom Tower. Specifically, I was stuck for a long time with the Frost Knight. Then we got uh, Rotting Mate, or what, who do we get? We got Wretch, I think, who can put HP burn. Easily passed it after that, not even an issue. And now we're stuck at Scarab, and I've been having a hard time, and I realized, you know, I had a team with uh, Metal Shaper in it before. I didn't have any issues. The problem is my team's too fast. Elba's too fast now. We're burning through all the buffs that we are putting on, uh, and we're not, we're not keeping everything balanced. So this is a major issue. But I realized something trying this a few times, this is like my third time trying to record this. Um, the big thing is that I don't need a whole lot here. I've got Venomage who destroys max HP. It's on his A1. It's just what he does. And he put, puts a uh, heal reduction uh, on the enemy. So that means that even the continuous heals from Elva that get stolen don't actually factor in. I can put block bust from Ugo. Got more poisons here from Kale. And then I have uh, Metal Shaper for the shield. And I think this team's actually gonna win in kind of a funky way. Now, yes, I had to rebuild a lot of these champions. I had to do a lot of gearing. I spent about two million, two and a half million in silver trying to make this work, which is frustrating. It's very frustrating because that is very hard for me to come by at this point, right? Um, but it's worth it really when it comes down to it because I need to get these things out. So I don't care about anybody surviving through this. Um, one thing I did do is I rolled up a resistance chest on Elva. It actually turned out really good. She's faster now. I don't know how that happened, but she, and still in stalwart, mind you. But uh, I put a resistance chest on her. Hopefully she's gonna be able to resist that provoke debuff at least periodically from the boss and be able to cleanse some of the other debuffs. Because of that, if we can do that, Holy Venomage is gonna be able to get that heal reduction out there. And then I don't have to worry about the boss healing up. It won't be a fast fight. It'll be a consistent one. I can beat it down, right? This is my plan. This is the only way I'm able to get through this, I think. Um, but, you know, I had to get a little creative. I had to get a little creative with this team and how are we going to beat this boss? And this is kind of what you have to do sometimes. You know, uh, I didn't want to spend the silver to do it, but I'm kind of at that point where it's like, look, if I don't keep advancing, there's a lot of resources that I'm just leaving on the table, basically. Um, and so I didn't want to leave them on the table anymore. And so that's that's why, you know, I figured let's spend them now. Let's make it happen. And I think hopefully, hopefully we'll be in good shape going forward. So if Elba's resistance is high enough, I think we have a really good shot at actually surviving this. And I did have to put uh, a different ring on Venomage. We have a shield ring, which I think is going to be crucial um, to allowing this to really work. Right. And that's that's going to be really big. Because we were getting too many counterattacks from the boss, and that was definitely a problem, right? So I want to avoid that as much as we can. And here we go. We can see the provokes. But yes, Elva did resist. We're able to cleanse them. Now I don't have to worry about that, which is fantastic. Uh, we can heal up there. Let's get that decreased. Can we just... Are we just not landing it? Oh, it's weak affinity. That's right. That's always an issue. See, I hate that. He has a shield. Had a shield. I guess he just took a turn. It wasn't a counterattack. That's Elva. All right, all right, all right. Heal reduction. We're just gonna weak hit all day long, apparently. So that's that's poopy. That's just the thing that we like to do, apparently. Putting up block buffs is good, though. The Ugo Venomage combo, I think, is actually really nice. They both have uh, that shield ring on, and I think that's really helpful. That resistance from Elva is. Absolutely clutch. Absolutely clutch, really, when it comes down to it. That's fine, that's fine. Take all that stuff down. I mean, we're just gonna weak hit permanently. Poor Venomage, it's so sad. All right, shield, yay. We have shields out. Yay, we didn't land anything. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Like, it literally just has only weak hit so far to this point. All right, so gonna steal a couple buffs, that's fine. I'm actually not concerned about these champions over here. Like, they don't worry me. I think if we can, I think with just 
Elva and Venomage, we can do this. It's just obviously gonna take a little bit. See, look at that. That's sh oh, he just takes a turn. That's gotta be it, right? Taking a turn, just missing this. Uh, affinity is the worst. Finally, land something good for us. Decrease defense, mm, decrease attack. All right, at this point, I'm just gonna let it auto. Hopefully we land something here at some point. And that'll be good for us. Actually, don't want to revive Kale. I'd much rather revive Metal Shaper. So I might need to switch the team order. Uh, Kale's higher in the team order, so he gets revived before Metal Shaper does. Definitely, definitely not as helpful, right? Uh, even with his baby poisons, definitely not what we're looking for. Yeah, it's a that's a counterattack. I don't. That's a counterattack. That doesn't make any sense. Why he's getting a counterattack? He has a shield on. It's like that that shield ring. Look at that. Every time. I don't understand why that's happening. Let me know. What am I missing here? Let me know in the comments. I know there's something I'm missing. You know, there's some there's some reason why I'm missing that. If you can let me know in the comments, I would appreciate you. But look at that. We got poisons up. We've got we got some stuff. He's not gonna be able to heal, even stealing a buffs. That's kind of the big thing. See, it's a baby shield, but it's there. Oof. That's, that's, that's not good. I gotta... Uh, Alright, we're gonna try this We're gonna try this again. I think I can do this. We're, I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna switch the team order. I'll, I'll be right back. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss the next one. Okay, made a slight change. Brought... Uh, brought Urogrim in instead of Kale, which just makes a lot more sense. I realized it was his blessing that was causing that. He did have a blood shield ring on. But the problem is that blessing he has, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Phantom Touch was doing damage afterwards and creating that counterattack, which is super annoying. So anyway, I brought an Urogrim. He doesn't have a blood shield ring, uh, but I figured I don't know that I care. And I figure that's just going to have to work for us, right? Ugo has one, but I got to pick and choose. So only one gets it. I figure that'll be that'll be fine. He has a couple of skills that aren't, aren't actually attack skills. Um, and so they won't proc the counterattack anyway. So hopefully, hopefully that'll balance it out. But we're gonna get more poisons out now, and that's actually a good thing for us. That'll help us do more damage overall. Hopefully, get through the boss a little faster. So uh, definitely should get us through these waves a little faster, which is kind of nice. So anyway, let's uh, we'll we'll go through the waves real quick. And when I get to the boss, we'll come back. Okay, we're here at the boss. Let's see if this works or not. This is gonna be very interesting. We all have shields. Start. It's great. They all got they all got stripped. Of course they did. Fine. There we go. Got those poisons from Urogrim, which is nice. And there's a heal reduction. Excellent. And a couple couple people with shield stuff. This is good. Got the shields out again, so no more of that weird stuff from the boss. Yeah, this is gonna work out nicely, I think. Might not be perfect, but I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape here with this. The big thing is landing either that block buffs or that heal reduction uh, from Ugo and uh, Venomage, respectfully. That's really the biggest thing that we can do here. Making sure that those land is absolutely massive for us getting through this kind of thing. So that's one of the things that we're going to need to need to have happen here. Now, interestingly, I could probably solo this with Urogrim more I think about it uh, because places of poisons doesn't provoke attacks. Putting that uh, shield ring that I do have for the Orgrin on him, and then just making sure he has enough resistance where he doesn't get, uh, you know, debuffed too harshly. He gives himself some own, his own healing, and this is only normal difficulty. So that I think would be a pretty viable alternative approach. Maybe not my favorite, but I think that's a viable one. Um, but obviously, you can see the resistance on Elva is working, and I think that's going to be really big. Um, the making sure this all goes smoothly. We're in a counterattack cycle here. That's okay. Not the worst thing. We're doing pretty decent. There we go. Got the heal reduction back. That's great. So even if he steals buffs, it's not going to heal him. That's always really important. You can see the max HP is going down as well. And we're actually, I'm surprised as many of us are still alive as there are. There we go. You know, I never noticed this little purple thing up here before. I think that's the, the shield 
tracker there, how effective it is as far as reducing damage. Kind of like a uh, stone skin shield on top, right? Uh oh, stole, stole some buffs I didn't want him to steal. That's always the risk with Elva. But we still have the heal reduction, so at least at least that's steady for us. That's a good thing right there. Now if we can block bus from Ugo. Nope. Nope. Can't. Can't. Stealing of the bus is very frustrating. But again, we have, you know, block healing. That's the big thing. It's a heal, a continuous heal from Elva. That's always going to be the biggest issue out of all these things. Um, and the heal reduction staying up for enough turns is going to be vital for us. Obviously, things like decrease defense weekend would be really nice to be able to get, or decrease even decrease attack specifically would be really, really nice. But, you know, can't have it all, unfortunately. And we're, we're weak hitting half the time anyway, so it's not like it, I don't know that it really matters. But yeah, it's a slow and steady approach, but it works. And so this, this should do it. I'm, ah, I'm excited. You get to keep pushing up the Doom Tower. I think that's huge for us. There are so many free resources there, and I think a lot of people actually skip Doom Tower. They think it's too hard, and honestly, it's not. As soon as you unlock it, you can start pushing up it uh, and to significant heights. Um, I I beat Doom Tower at least in one rotation already. Um, you know, not every rotation is going to be amenable to the champions you have, the gear that you have, but uh, definitely some of them will. And I think it's it's advantageous to. Uh, to do something about that when you can so yeah very very nice i'm really i'm actually really happy about this this is a very exciting it's the slowest run i'll ever you'll ever see but it's very it's very exciting to have happen success guys success 10 minutes, 47 seconds, so nice and quick run. Easy, easy breezy. Duper duper fast, that's what I'm talking about. Obviously that's a slow, slow run, but I was really happy to be able to get that done. You know, I think that actually makes a big difference. Now, the interesting thing is, I have Metal Shaper. I also have a Lodric, who is way better than Metal Shaper because he's an epic, but he takes a lot more books. So I've been very hesitant to build him up. After this experience though, I think I might need to build Lodric up. First off, he's going to give me a bigger shield, and that's actually pretty important. Um, the size of the shield, because he has to survive through the boss's hits, and that's always a bit of an issue. Um, but they both have it on a two-turn duration, so if I can build them fast enough, they'll be able to keep it up every turn, and that's kind of the idea. Especially with an Elva on the team, that's something that should be possible to be able to do, but it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit tricky, right? I got to be able to... I have to I have to actually do it, right? Um, and so that's going to be the trick with this, but man, pretty solid, pretty solid. I was just glad I was able to get through it. Venom Age, obviously MVP. Uro Grim, I thought was really good. Um, but, you know, there's one point where they stole all of our bus and almost healed all the way up. And I was like, oh, no, this is a fail. But, you know, we were able to kind of beat it right back down. Just took us about twice as long as it should have. Um, but, yeah, you know, when it comes to these bosses, especially in Dune Tower, it's really... I mean, it's really just all about figuring out your best approach with your champions. And that's kind of the trick. It's that problem solving mechanic. Um, and early on, you don't have a ton of champions to choose from. Eventually though, you know, you get those options and you kind of figure it out. I had to make some gear changes. And the bad part is I'm gonna have to swap them back now, right? But making those gear changes definitely opened up some possibilities as far as how to make this work. And you know what? Maybe I can run it. Maybe I can keep running my stuff with a little resistance on Elva. That wouldn't be bad, considering I'm still not two king Ultra Nightmare, and I don't think the the gear change is actually going to affect Ultra Nightmare my, my runs drastically. Certainly not the keys that I'm using. Putting resistance on her might have a really beneficial effect overall uh, in other areas of this game. So that might be something I keep going on. Anyway, guys, this was kind of a weird video for me, but there we are. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys are doing better than me in Doom Tower. But uh, that's going to be today's free-to-play video. The next we meet, the Deadwood Jedi.